So nice of you to drop in. In exactly three minutes, this missile will launch and detonate as the world leaders are meeting for their peace summit. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'll get the detonator. I think it's time that I leave the spy business. <laughs> I've got a daughter I have to raise. Well, don't worry, pal. You saved my behind more than once. I'll make sure that you end up in a place that's safe, a place that you like, where you fit in. <laughs> Mike, Minky. It's okay, Edith. Mission accomplished. We're coming back. <laughs> Breakfast is ready. Coming! Good morning, 
Dad. Good morning, darling girl. What do you think? Perfect. She's, you know, I could never understand how you and your mother could eat burnt toast. <laughs> Look at this. Nikki made the front page. You know, the circus must be in town. You know, I, I should take you to meet him. Right, Dad. Minky, the chimpanzee. <laughs> that was your spy partner. Dad, I stopped believing those stories when I was eight. Those stories are true. You're an insurance salesman, remember? Right, right, how could I forget? So are you excited about tonight? I guess. A little nervous, though. Amelia, you should be nothing but proud of yourself. It's a very big award. Couldn't have built it without you. I think you could have done it all on your own. You know, it's just that I'm going to be meeting Dr. Amore today. She's like the most amazing person in the world. And to top it off, Dr. Farley's going to be there, too. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Two of the most famous scientists in the world are going to be there. And I'll get to meet them. Well, I'm excited. Love you. Hey. I love you more. I'm sure if you're gonna be at school today. It's not till tonight. Are you excited? I'm more scared. We're all coming. You guys don't have to. Are you kidding? You're the only kid to ever win the National Scientific Achievement Award. We're coming. Yeah, Amelia, we're coming. Cool. Trapeze performer like no other. And last but not least, <laughs> the star of our show, <laughs> the one and only, <laughs> the phenomenal, <laughs> the amazing, <laughs> Minky! Like, 
liquid levels of propellant chamber. Check. Open propellant valve. Check. Oh, blowback. And the National Scientific Achievement Foundation has been providing scholarships ever since. Pleasure to meet you, Dr. Farley, Dr. Moore. Greetings. Hello there. Hmm. Bonjour, comment ça va? Yo. What up? Oh. Excuse me. Are you the young lady with the oxygen iodide chemical laser drill that we're awarding tonight? Professor Farley. <laughs> Dr. Farley. Oh, yes, Dr. Farley. A pleasure to meet you. It's my pleasure, Miss Muggins. Is Dr. Amore backstage as well? Uh, no, Dr. Amore won't be joining us tonight. Oh. Well, you know, your work in plasma physics and in magnetic fusion, it's just, well, it's really an honor to meet you. I know. Is your family here tonight? Yeah, my dad should be here soon. Well, I'm going to need his signature if you're going to go to the think tank tomorrow. Yeah, um, here, he did already. And now I feel very privileged to introduce our honored guest. Here to present the National Scientific Achievement Award tonight, Dr. Robert Farley. Excuse me. And now, for her revolutionary design of an oxygen iodide chemical laser drill. The award is given to Miss Amelia Muggins. My daughter. <laughs> and now, Miss Muggins, would you be kind enough to give us a demonstration and explanation of your groundbreaking device? Sure. This is my favorite part. is a chemical oxygen iodide laser drill. The chemical laser drills into the ground by eating through it and turning the rock and soil into a gas compound largely composed of oxygen, basically into O2, breathable air. We could pretty much put an end to conventional drilling. Because of its chemical nature, this drill has the ability to go a lot further and a lot deeper than any other drill in existence. It's also environmentally friendly. Uh, may I ask a question? Will the physics of your prototype translate perfectly to an industrial application 100 times its present size? It would be very expensive to build in real life, but yes, it should work just as I described. Well, I can't wait to see it in action one day. And now, it is my honor to present the National Scientific Achievement Award to Miss Amelia Muggins. Muggins. Oh, Dr. Farley. Mr. Muggins, I presume? Yes, Dr. Farley, it is a pleasure to meet you. You know, I am so proud that Amelia has won this award. It is such an honor. Well, she's accomplished what most MIT graduates have been attempting for 10 years. Well, look at the time. I really must be going. Ms. Muggins, my limo will be at your house at 7 a.m. sharp. Right, and thank you for having her along in this think tank. She has been talking about this all week, and she is so excited to be spending a whole day with Dr. Amore. <laughs> and, and also you. Dad. Dad. Great to meet you. Come on, let's go. Really nice. It's my pleasure. And, 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 also, and 
I'll sue you. Got it. Hey. What a day, huh? You know, your mother would have been so proud of you today. I wish I remembered her better. Oh. She was just like you. She was beautiful and she was smart. And she was funny. Kind of like Dr. Amore? Yeah. Just like that, I bet. I really wanted to meet her today. Well, you'll meet her tomorrow at the think tank. Yeah. You better get some sleep. You got a big day tomorrow. Good night. Hiya, sweetie. Hey, look. Look who made the front page. Wow. That's my girl. Well, mm. hurry. Miss Muggins, there you are. Let's go. We got a tight schedule. Mr. Muggins, good day to you. Oh, Amelia, listen. Have fun. Be good. I love you, okay? And I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Amelia, I have a surprise for you. I've been working on a top secret project. Really? Yeah. I built a full scale model of your drill. We're going to use it to extract the greatest energy known to man from the Earth's core. Wow. Yeah. Did you and Dr. Amore build it together? Yeah, sure, sure. Wow. I'm really excited to meet her. Well, you'll meet her soon enough. Actually, she's working on the drill as we speak. Where is it? In Japan, that's where we're going right now. Japan? I think I should call my dad. Oh, please, Miss Muggins. Your father knows all about this. He wanted to surprise you. In fact, I've got him on a satellite feed right now. Hiya, honey. Japan. Hey, that's cool. I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Listen, have fun. I'll talk to you soon. You're a big girl now, so you'll be fine. Oh, uh, okay, but dad... Dr. Amore is really looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> Miss Muggins, this hydrogen-propelled watercraft is going to take us to Tokyo faster than any airplane ever could. Wow! You're on a log. I'll be there in a second. I told you she'd be putty in her hands. She never has to know anything is wrong. What'd you expect? She's just a kid. Now you stay behind. Make sure that doofus father of hers gets the package, then keep an eye on him. That shouldn't be too difficult. Don't harm him, Hugo. Just watch him. Don't harm him, you understand? Completely. Yo, yo, morning, Edith. Hi, Phil. See you tomorrow. Who's this from? I don't know. Mr. Muggins, I've taken Amelia out of the country so you will not be able to reach her. She'll be helping me with the top secret project. Do not call the police, for I promise I shall have her returned unharmed in approximately one week. If you do contact anyone, 
you will never see your daughter again. That is all. This message will self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Edith, looks like we're back in the spy business and we have our most important mission ever. Saving Amelia. Hey, it's Edith. Mike's come out of retirement, so I could really use some help setting up here. You gotta look the part. Hey, old friend. spy business to get her back. So what do you say? They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Mikey, is that you? We heard everything. Can we help? Sure, I guess we can use all the help we can get. These are Mickey's friends. They volunteered to help us. <laughs> now, I didn't have much time, but I managed to wrangle up some new gadgets from some of our old contacts. This is the standard issue agency laser pen. It will eat through all known metals. And those are the newest glasses on the spy market. They have several viewing options. And if I do say so myself, they look really groovy on you too. <laughs> Yes, and that is the new electro paintball gun. It also shoots a dart attached to a thousand pound test line. This is what we know so far. And Amelia was taken by Dr. Farley, a world renowned scientist. Nobody seems to know his whereabouts. This is Dr. Amore. She was supposed to be along at the think tank today with Dr. Farley and Amelia, but as it turns out, she was not. She is vacationing somewhere in Jamaica. Jamaica it is then, Mickey. I know he's got important work to do, but before we start, can you tell us how Minky became a spy? Okay, here, quickly, I'll tell you. Mike was working for the agency, a secret underground spy network. The agency was experimenting with a new program called Project Spymate, which was training primates to become agents. <laughs> 
plan was to combine human agents with the power and agility of a higher primate to create an unstoppable team. The agency tried to train several chimps, but one stood out from the rest. Ready? Three, two, one. He would become a secret weapon with phenomenal physical and mental abilities. But for some reason, the agency got cold feet, and Minky ended up in storage with the rest of the discarded inventions. Mike was assigned the job of disposing of Minky. The agency wanted to make sure Minky didn't get into the hands of the Russians. The KGB had intelligence on this phenomenal chimp, and were trying to nab him. <gasps> I get mad, you get monkey! <laughs> Thanks. And after Minky saved Mike's life that day, the agency let him keep him as his partner. Until they retired together, they were the most successful agents in the business, and that's when Minky came and joined you all in the circus. <laughs> now, we had better get to work. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Come and not come and me tell you what I want in a Jamaica. Yes, I am. When the DJ play dub, everyone ball forward, forward. Gun man a fire shot, and then the DJ say forget. Hi, I uh, I need some information about one of your guests, Dr. Claudette Amore. Sorry, man. Info about the guest is strictly confidential. It's a uh, very important matter. <laughs> I'm starting to feel the love. <laughs> Sashing by heading towards the beach. All right, that's great. Menke, we've got to go to the beach. Menke? Is this where Dr. Amor is? Uh, yeah, uh, I think I, Dr. Amor went up to the drill site already, so you'll, you'll meet her soon enough. I'm sorry to disturb you, Dr. Amore. My name's Mike Muggins. Uh, merci. My daughter's been kidnapped, and I need to talk to you about your partner, Dr. Farley. Oh, I'm so sorry. But Dr. Farley is not my partner anymore. He's not? No, Mr. Muggins. Dr. Farley and I had a serious disagreement, and we no longer work together. Her name's Amelia. Amelia Muggins? Yes. Oh, my dear, this cannot be. Yes, can't she was it. Dr. Farley. 
I figured out why the father's in Jamaica. You go. You go. Darn it. I lost him. Dr. Amor and I were hoping that you could look at our calculations. Give us your opinion. You want my opinion? Well, sure. I mean, you're the one who invented the drill, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, we're experiencing some technical difficulty, and we were hoping that you could help us figure out where we've gone wrong. The project was to reach Japan and even the world of its dependence on oil. We were going to drill into a volcano and tap into the Earth's core energy. I soon realized it was much too dangerous and I tried to convince Dr. Fali, but he would not listen. Sure, I'll take a photo. <laughs> What has Amelia got to do with it? Something must not be functioning properly with Amelia's drill. And they need her to figure it out. <laughs> hey, sleep and beauty. Wake up, man. Huh? It's time to get down to the rhythm of the islands. <laughs> Got no chance, cause this team can't die! <laughs> oh. I call this one the cha cha chimpanzee. Uh -huh. Back and forth, move the hand, move the hand, move the hand, body, 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 shake the little chimp people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. One piece. One love and plenty banana. I Raymond. If Farley gets a drill running before we find it, he will likely force the Earth's core to open, causing a massive explosion. It could wipe Japan off the face of the Earth. There you are. <laughs> Dr. Amore, this is my partner, Minky. Minky, this is Dr. Amore. Enchanté. <laughs> Minky, we've got to get to Japan now. <laughs> Mr. Muggins, you will need my help. North American residents. I'm sending the circus gang on a recon. I'm calling it Operation Road Trip. That is great news, Edith. Well, we've got some information, too. We're here with Dr. Amore. And it seems pretty likely that Farley has taken Amelia to Japan. Japan? We're on the next plane to Tokyo. How's it coming? I'm trying to isolate the differences between the prototype and the larger drill. So far, nothing's popped up. Well, I have to go attend a board meeting, and then I'll check back in. Maybe something will have popped up by then. Oh, Dr. Farley? I was kind of wondering if I could talk to my dad after we're done working. Of course. Sure. Let's go. Yes, sir. I so love to be a spy! Fly the spy! <laughs> Hello! It's Edith! We are approaching our final destination! Hiya! 
Honey, I hear you wanted to talk to me before bed. Yeah, I just wanted to say goodnight. It's not much fun here. Oh, that's too bad, but it's an important project, remember? Yeah. Just there aren't any other kids around. And I still haven't met Dr. Amore. Well, just suck it up. You'll be home soon once you find out how to fix that drill. I'm proud of you. Okay. We'll see you soon. Love you. This looks like the spot, boys. Let's do it. Gentlemen, okay, okay. I realize that we're three months behind schedule. The thing is... Enough excuses. We have spent 600 million on this project. Perhaps Dr. Amour was right. This project should have been canceled. Is the drill operational yet? If you'll excuse me for just one moment. Dr. Farley. It's me. I have bad news. They're in Tokyo. Father, the monkey, and Dr. Amore. Dr. Amore? It gets better. I've done some research. The monkey has a name, Minky the Monkey. He was part of a top secret spy mate project. The monkey and the father are ex spies. All right, Hugo, you listen to me. I want you to watch them carefully. I'll have the girl out of Tokyo by the morning. Done. As I was saying, the drill is operational and will begin working by the end of the week. Good work, Dr. Fardy. And now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, uh, I, I have a great deal of work to do. Still searching for me in the woods a mile yonder. <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's split up. Betty, Fly, check upstairs. Oh. Melmore and I will check down here. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm, don't mind if I do. Go 
over, Mike. The photo that Minky sent of the guy who's been trailing you? His name is Hugo Dalton. Search shows he's ex-agency. I'm posting the photo for you on the network now. Thanks, Edith. Good work. Where is Melmar? Hold it right there! Oh, okay. What are you up to? Melmar! Huh? <gasps> 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 Nice work, Becky. Seventy-five Yento Street. Mike, I've got an update. Operation Road Trip it was a huge success. We've got Farley's Tokyo address. It's Pyramid Enterprises at ten seventy-five Yento Street. Amelia. We have to hurry. The helicopter's on its way. You can finish your work at the mountain base. Helicopter? Cool. Are we gonna see Dr. Amore now? Yeah, yeah, you'll meet her soon enough.
sure you are. Oi, just a minute. Where are you going? I have a delivery for Dr. Farley. Dr. Farley? Farley. Oh, sorry. Wrong floor. You must go back down to lobby. Stay. Sorry, my mistake. Go on in, Miss Muggins. Cool! I've never been in a helicopter before. Oh, good, good. Isn't this your lucky day? What happened to you? It's that darn monkey. He's highly trained. Look, I pay you a lot of money for your expertise. I think you can handle one little pan troglodyte. Huh? Chimpanzee knucklehead. I can't believe you let them get this far. Now you take care of the father. We're gonna need him as an insurance policy. <laughs> Good work, partner. I found them, but they got away in a helicopter. Oh, I'm sorry. The good news is that Mickey went with them. I think he's with Amelia. Edith, they've left Tokyo with Amelia. Mickey's gone with them. Hmm. He seems to be headed toward northern Japan's mountain range. Open the files I sent you. They'll show you where in the mountains he's headed. Great work, Edith. And thanks. I hope we find him. I've got it. That's at Mount Yarigatake. Yarigatake. Is where you'll be working. Hello, I'm Amelia. I'm so sorry, must keep working. And this is your workstation. Nice, huh? Okay, follow me. And this is where you're going to be staying for the next couple of days. Sir, there is something you need to see. Miss Muggins, if you'll excuse me. Well, why don't you start working? Sure. Right back. Hold on, hold on. Enhance that image. I want to see who that is. It must be that pantroglodyte. Well, somebody get rid of that flying monkey!
sign of anyone here. Over. My apologies, Miss Muggins. Oh, that's okay. Is Dr. Moore here yet? No! No. No, I, no, I have no. I'm knowing that, that you want to meet Dr. Ramore, and I know strongly that, that she's at the mountain and the drill site. Uh, okay. I see it. I hope that's where Amelia is. I have brought you some food. I am Kiro Sensei, Minky san. I know why you have come here. You have come to save the girl, but you will also be saving all of Japan. We have been expecting you. Oh. Yeah! Dr. Farley, I figured out the problem. Oh, that's fantastic! What is it? Mm, well, it's not very scientific. And I should probably show you and Dr. Amore together. Will you forget about Dr. Amore? Just tell me. Can I speak with my dad? Um. Is that a yes? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll arrange it. Mike Muggins. Not much of an agency spy, are you? And Miss Amore. So nice to see you again. Now is the time to prepare you for the battle ahead by helping you find the power within you. This will be the challenge of your life. I guess if I had to look on the bright side, he's, he's leading us to Amelia. She's lucky to have a father like you, Mr. Muggins. 
We've lost all contact with Mike. That's not good, right? What's the plan? Well, Minky has asked for an airdrop of supplies. Spy mate, this is Condor. We are over the drop site. Over. Okay, Condor. Drop the egg. I hear you wanted to speak with me? Something weird is going on here. Miss Mug... Amelia, you've always had an active imagination. Just fix the drill so you can come home, honey. Oh, Dad? Yeah? Sorry I complained about the burnt toast the other morning. Ah, uh, don't worry, sweetie. We all hate to eat burnt toast. Now get back to work and make us all proud. Could we all hate to eat burnt toast? This is so weird. Stupid kid. Amelia, we all hate to eat burnt toast. I've got to get out of here. Muggins, how nice of you to rejoin us. Kamori Masu, Taskete, Taskete. Sa, Niki san, it is time. We shall all leave at the sunrise. Son, from here, you must go alone up the treacherous north face of this mountain. That way you can go undetected. 
When you reach the peak, we believe there is an opening. No one would expect anyone to make this climb in this weather. Even a ninja would not make this attempt. Sate. <laughs> Site. It's at the bottom of one of the largest craters in Japan, a volcano. You fix the drill, I'll let you go home. about how you got the drill to work. Not until I talk to my dad. My real dad. Fine. I'll even let you see him in person. Bet you didn't expect that, Miss Smarty Pants, huh? Come on, let's go. Dad! Oh, Amelia, are you all right? <gasps> Dr. Amore? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Amelia. Dr. Farley is going to use your drill to bore into a volcano, but this will cause a massive explosion. Massive explosion? Oh, come on. Never gonna happen. I'm about to capture the greatest energy known to man, and the world will finally discover who the greatest scientist of the millennium really is. The names Albert Einstein and Robert Farley will be spoken in the same sentence. Massive explosion. Oh, please. Amelia, hundreds of millions of people could be killed. But Dad, that's not what I invented it for. I know. It's supposed to help people. It could help many people if it was used properly. All right. Enough of this. Miss Muggins, if you ever want to see your father alive again, you'll show me how to make this drill work properly. Now let's go. What's it gonna be? And don't you forget, I too am a scientific genius. Got one minute to tell me how you got this drill to work or your father's toast. It's because of a sympathetic resonance caused by a blowback from the catalytic chamber. I see. All right, what's your solution? Well, I used my elastic hairband to dampen out the vibrations, constricting the flow of chemicals so the drill won't overheat. I told you it wasn't very scientific. It's better work. Come here. We have to recreate the modulus of elasticity of this hairband with 100 times the force. You got 30 minutes. Miss Muggins, you stay right here and watch. <laughs> I hope for 
your sake this works. At last, your invention will make me the greatest scientist of the millennium. Hugo, we've got it. You can dispose of her father. And the soon-to-be-late great scientist. Consider it done. Au revoir. Time to take a walk. Not without my daughter. Oh, no, without my daughter. <laughs> Come on, Daddy-o, let's go. <laughs> Oh no, they started the drill. Come on. See if I'm still in Farley's system. Farley, talk to her more. Oh, Farley, I realized what an horrible mistake I made when I left. I really want to be a part of this. And I am so excited to see that it has finally come to life. But, but I thought that you... No. How'd you get in? W where's the spy dad? I got rid of him. I just used him to get back here. I needed to come and tell you how sorry I was. I think you're the greatest scientist of all time. Three, two, one. <laughs> huh? <laughs> all right, Mr. Spyman. That'll be quite enough of that. <laughs> Nobody messes with my daughter. <laughs> Amelia, quick! Shut off the drill! <laughs> Here we go, partner. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. Thought you could use some kick butt assistance. Let's rock and roll. Oh, 
We can cause it to overheat and explode before the laser reaches the core. Exactly. Close. So happy you made it. I love you. Mike, Minky, hello. Whoa. I say again, can anyone read me? Mike, Minky. Edith, we're okay. We're coming home.
Master Minki-san. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Minky, I want you to meet my daughter. This is Amelia. Dad, we already met. Right. Dr. Amor! No, no, no. Please, call me Claudette, huh? Claudette! Mm -hmm. Wow! I guess I owe you another one, pal. You really are a spy. Yes, I really am. Spy mate. You read me. Spy mate? This is the president. I hear you're out of retirement. That's great news. <laughs> Your country needs you for a top secret mission. Air Force One is standing by in Tokyo for you. What do you say, Minky? <laughs> <laughs> 